Yeah, he gonna come hard. This is this is Esau's last hurrah, man. It's like this brother saying, this is his last hurrah. So he's gotta go the hardest. And that's why I said that there's gonna be uh, uh, that it's not been seen under the sun. Man. This man knows it. The elites know this is their last hurrah. That's why they're building bunkers. You know, a man that a man that uh, 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 that's building into the ground. That's why I says what? Let the rocks fall on me to hide from the what? The, the one that sits on the phone, which is Yahweh Shah. They, they're gonna try to hide because they know it's over. That's why they built the bunkers, man. They're gonna run and hide in there and try and try to evade that the, the, the coming punishment, man. Esau's gonna. That's why he's gonna start. He's gonna start what? Bringing cannibalism back. It's gonna be horrible. Just like he did it in Masada. He knew what he was doing. If you starve out of place, you know, you know they're gonna run out of food. What's gonna be the next option? So he saw it was a that was a calculated move, man. So if he did it back then, how much more now? We're coming to the time of him. He ain't, he ain't ruling no more. He reads the scriptures. He read Obadiah. He, you don't think he skipped the book that has his name in it? He, he knows the end of this thing, man. Like you say, that's a test run. That's a test run. That Venezuela thing to cut off all the resources. That's a test run to show show you that wrath that he finna come upon us, man. He finna come upon us the same way he doing them. They over there eating people, man. Capitalism, man. From laying people and putting them on the grill, man. Uh, hey, in the scripture say that things were in the fourth time of prison were all learning. Uh, hey, Jake already been eight day kids. Sod and her children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She came with that one lady, uh, I believe it was a uh, second king. She went to the, uh, to the one of the kings and was like, you know, I ate my child this day. We want to eat your third child. You know. Uh, no, no, that was when the uh, one, she took the, uh, the other baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this was afterwards. Yeah. You know, after the split. But yeah, hey. Hey, that's gonna show you that, hey, that's, what, that's what's gonna happen. People are gonna go, when you're hungry, you're, uh, you, you'll you go take any uh, Jurassic measures to hey, feed yourself, whether that's shit, eating your child, eating your own arm. All right, and, and the scriptures talk about that. This is better realize, actually, that happened here in the world. With Haiti, Hurricane Katrina, you know what I'm saying? Things are like that are not mentioned here in America, but it happened. You know what I'm saying? Every time the hurricanes hit America, something always happens. Just like with now with Florence, they hit North Carolina. Now they water poison. They got uh, nuclear, nuclear water in the river now in, uh, in North Carolina. <clears throat> Just like they did Flint, Michigan. Right, because Esau was bringing what? That family. You know what I'm saying? He always, he always have an ulterior motive for everything that he do. Notice too, whenever these hurricanes hit on the coastline of America, every time them, them levees always get blown up. See what I'm saying? It, it's not breaking from the hurricane. That's Esau blowing them levees up. Because remember with Hurricane Katrina, the three black women said that they heard a boom when them levees broke. And you never heard from them again. They even went to the door to the White House. Lil Wayne even rapped about it in one of the songs. Lil Wayne said it. Lil Wayne. Yup. He shall mightily roar. I got something going into, uh, you know, that uh, insurrection. Because what is it all speaking to be to? Uh, Esau trying to get the uh, the children of Israel to take his chip. You know, you know this is uh, Revelations 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devils, which is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, shall, shall cast some of you into prison. And it ain't talking about the spiritual demon, Satan. All right, it's talking about a real man casting people into prison, mainly you uh, Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. All right, so hey, we're gonna go through it, you know. But uh, but in the churches, they gonna tell you everything's gonna be all right. Nah, it says we gonna suffer tribulation. All right, and what's uh the time? The ten days is the time period. So hey, we don't know how long we're gonna go through. And it says, "Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life." All right, hey um. Hey, ultimately not taking that shit. Keeping your faith in uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh shine, and enduring to the end, you know? And then uh, I'm gonna jump to Revelations 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. All right, so hey, you know, we gotta uh, stay faithful in this. 
And that hour of temptation is uh, ultimately when Esau brings up that chip. It's either you serve him, or you serve, or you serve the Lord, or you serve your master, Esau. Uh, what is that? It says, uh, uh, in the patient way, meaning you're suffering. There's not going to be no kick off, man. I'm going to break it. Like you said, you must take the next one. You know what I mean? Look, we're going to go through hell and high water in order to get to the kingdom of heaven, man. You know what I'm saying? It reads, we shall come upon all the world. All right, so not only the uh, the elect upon you two thirds and the rest of you heathens. All right. It says uh, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Uh, I might as well read verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. Hold fast to the word. Hold fast to the doctrine that you've been taught. The truth teaches that you've been taught. Hold fast to the, to the Lord comes, man. That's the enduring. You know, we that endure to the end shall be saved. Man. The summer's past and the harvest is ended. The summer's ended, but we are not saved.
so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. The time of Jacob's trouble, man. So that's why I was saying earlier, man, when you read the scriptures, man, you know that a, a bad time is coming. Right? But Jacob is so comfortable. Look, I got a bus job. He, he comfortable in his place. Look at him. He comfortable. You know? say preparation is it takes longer than the actual cooking process when you prep if you if you're, if you're a sous chef if a chef the, the the longest part of the deal is prepping you got to cut the vegetables you got to cut everything and the meal might take a couple couple uh, a few minutes to make man with all that preparation for a small time big time period but when it comes to salvation salvation and, and even when a lot was delivered out of Sodom and Gomorrah, that was a quick thing. He said, don't grab nothing, go. Don't look back, man. That's what we're in now. We're in a time of, the, uh, of being told uh, through the Spirit, look, man, don't look back, man. Don't don't look back. If you look back, you're going to be caught up, man. This, the world is, is ready, man. That, that's what it says. The field is ready. It's right, man. These people are ready to go. We had an Edomite tell her, hey, he said, I'm ready for slavery, man. They're done with their kingdom, man. They're done. He told us to our face, man. He said, well, I'm ready for slavery, man. You know? That's a proud man talking. He ain't ready for that shit. Hell no. That shit, he saw roots. That shit ain't. <laughs> hey, shit, uh, the scripture said one is stronger than the other. You know, us being stronger ones. We went through our slavery. Shit, he saw weak as hell. He gonna have a hard time getting through his. The first whip is kids. He's over. <laughs> the first whip. He's beating the hell out of you. It ain't even gonna hit him yet. They're just cracking. You know, when you crack the whip, he saw fall out. He ain't even touch him yet. It's a uh, Joel, I mean, it's Joel 20 and 5. It says that the trumpet of the wicked is short and the joy of the wicked is gone. It's Joel 20 and 5. I mean, yeah, 20 and 5. That the trumpet of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. It's only for a moment. Like the brother just said, the preparation takes longer than the actual meal to cook. 
This preparation been taking 500 years. They been cutting onions 500 years, carrying them, and then when that fire comes through, it's gonna take 300, and it's gonna take 3,600 seconds, with 60 minutes, one hour, and this shit gonna be done. It says it should be like an oven. It's gonna be right, like an right. oven. Yeah. Hey man, the Lord used hell for metaphors and adjectives, man, you wouldn't even know, man. You know what I mean? That day gonna be like an oven, man. And it's gonna be hot. Tell you right now, Esau can cut a fade and fucking put weave in her. Y'all wouldn't have that shit. We don't have shit, man. That's right. Esau they might give you, they might let you run a fucking barbecue shack, but as soon as they find out your recipe, they gonna open their own shit. We don't own shit, man. And it's even so bad that the, the heathens now, or that's why they made that movie, Rich People of China. How did China get one time China was a rice state? They didn't do anything but make rice they agricultural. But through America, they they they've gotten rich, bro, and that's the spirit. Look at you speak about it. And here it is, bro. They come over here and they 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 live a li a lavish life. That's why they made that movie, Rich People of China and stuff, man. They come over here and through the the the, the gain of of making everything for a cheap price. Now there's more millionaires and even billionaires coming off and coming up in China, man. So that that ain't coming here. They're supposed to be. This is supposed to be a, a internalized, but everything is external, man. You know, that's why America pretty much says, what, they that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. They steady eating America's bread. That's the only reason they deal with Babylon the way they do, man. And the freedom that they have through, uh, hey, let them wrong, because they ain't bees around. But the freedom they have through what? They can come over here and be freaks. They can come over here and negate their own laws and all that type of things and, and, and be able to live it, uh, do it thy will, man. Crack is going into slavery, man. <laughs> it says, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn uh, over her, mm -hmm. for no man buyeth mm -hmm. their merchandise they gonna, anymore. They're going to have them containers out there at sea. Billions of dollars going to be in, at the sea. They're going to be looking at the burning of America, and they're going to be crying. And then guess what's going to happen? When the crying gets stopped, they're going to say, well, it's time to go back. Leviathan gonna knock their ass out the fucking boat. That's what's gonna happen. Them Leviathans are gonna get you. So all that merchandise gonna be at the bottom of the sea. We don't want that shit in our kingdom. That fucking tiny ass shit. Uh, lead, lead paint. No. We don't want none of that shit. Mixed fabrics. We just want the gold and silver. And the women. That's it. That's all we need. And the gold and silver are gonna make it through the fire, man. That's one thing that's gonna be, it, it, it can make it through fire, man. Everything, you don't, we don't even want the cattle, man. Everything, you don't know how many, they've been cloning beef for the past uh, uh, five, 10 years, if not longer, that we know of. They've been cloning animals, so we've been eating defiled, man, that's all gotta be burnt, man. The GMO seeds has gotta get burnt. That's gonna be a time of cleaning up. These are, these are leaks. You're gonna bury bodies, and you're gonna clean up your mess, man. Doesn't that make sense? If you go and you try something, you gotta clean that up, man. That's why that thousand years is gonna be a, a hard, 
hard, hard time for Esau, man. Secret 39 tells you how y'all going to be cleaning it up. And this is a little quick uh, uh, precept. This is Lamentations 4 and 21. And it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. O daughter of Edom, man. Edom, Adawam in the Hebrew, man. Meaning red, man. You, you, you Edomites, man. That's, you, you, Esau's your father when you read in Genesis 36 chapter, man. It says, Rejoice and be glad, man. This is your kingdom right now. And they are rejoicing, man. They walk around prideful and shit. You know what I mean? Just be glad, man. Go ahead. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. Uh -huh. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken. What's the cup? Slavery, anguish, agony, uh, mourning. All that's going to pass unto you, man. Because it's on the necks of Israel right now. Go ahead. And thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked. Yeah, y'all going to be drunk, man. Drunk with it. It's going to be so much on you, you don't know what to do. It's going to be harsh, man. Like his brother said, when you hear the crack of that whip, man. You're going to be like, please, man. Please, man. Take my daughter. Cook yourself. I'll drop her. Please, more than some more. God, God, God. And it says, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Now, Zion, the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans. That scripture said, our punishment is accomplished. So this slavery that we in is almost over, man. We just have to endure a little bit more. We right here at the end. You know? That's why them brothers, hey, right now, man, hey, if you fall out right now, it's like, damn. All you say is damn. Like, shit. You know what I mean? Because right here at the end, man, you can see it. You know, we always said, oh, hey, when they go in Iran, it's going to be it. Well, they right here in Iran. So we don't have long, man, because we got to endure it. That military, when you said that in Iran, that military parade that was shot up, that was an inside, that was a, uh, that was a, uh, what you call, that was set up by a proxy. Okay, that's pro America uses proxies now. That whole ISIS was set, was set up by the CIA, man. You know, but they're telling you that look, when they entering into Iran uh, uh, strategically, they know they can't come in their full frontal because Russia's there. So they got to do the back door uh, type of movements, man. That parade was not, that was not a coincidence. They said it was set up, it was pre-planned. They, they left the guns there and they came back and picked up the guns that was already stashed there, man. So we at the time of, uh, uh, of these prophecies, 2018 is what, man? The year of prophecy. Uh. So hey, like you said, man, that time is coming. Like the brother read, the temptation times are coming. And when that time comes, man, you gotta be ready to basically just, the scriptures tell you, you gotta be ready, basically ready to just give up whatever is going on and just fuck with you. But those times are coming. You know? Zephaniah 1 and uh, 17. And I will bring distress upon men and they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust mm. and their flesh as the dung. Neither, uh, neither their silver nor their gold. They suffer, man. Body and mind. Go ahead. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's way. So all your riches, man, are not going to be able to get you out of this, this, uh, this heavenly ass whooping that you're going to get. That's right. That's right. It's not going to be able to buy your way out. But Esau got the money. Whenever something goes on, he could throw a few uh, uh, FRNs. He could throw a few FRNs out there and basically buy his way out of anything, man. Or buy people to do whatever his uh, uh, evil bidding is, man. But in that day, man, them, them riches that you got won't be able to buy your ass out of nothing, man. That's going to be beautiful, man. You know what I mean? It says, what it says they should not regard what? Silver? When the playing field is level, hey, like the scripture say, we, we are really the dominant ones, so when the playing field is level, you already know we're gonna, the, the cream going to rise to the top. You know? So he said, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. The fire of his jealousy, the thermonuclear structure, the ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. That's, right. that's that fire that's going to devour this whole land, man. 
Go ahead. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. It's speedy riddance means quickly, man. That's why the scripture said in Revelation 18 it's going to take one hour, 60 minutes, man. 3,600 seconds. And it's going to be over. You know what I mean? You might as well do like Tom used to do on Tom and Jerry when he about to get messed up. Put the bandana on, smoke a cigar. <laughs> wait for the wait to just get blown away. But that's what's gonna happen. You know? And this is Luke 17 and 33. It says, Whosoever shall whosoever shall seek to save his life. Go back up to this is Luke 17 and 31. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop. Go back one. This is Luke 17 and 30. Even, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that when day. When the Son of Man is revealed, right? When he's manifest to us, when he come on the chariots, right? Go ahead. In that day, he which he which be upon the housetop. When he's revealed, when he manifests. Before he come to the chariots, this is going into basically we, martial law, basically, right? You know, living. Go ahead. I'll show you. Talk about martial law. And this stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. So when martial law comes and saying, if you're on top of that house working, don't come down to your house to what? Try to retrieve nothing, right? Take off, man. Go ahead. You know, uh, this uh, is, uh, this is, this is something about stuff. So it's not, it's not, it's not, that day, he went to be upon the housetop, and his stuff in the house, yeah. let him not come down to take it away. Okay, look up that word stuff. Go ahead. Luke, uh, uh, 17 and 30. Underneath this wicked ass society. It says, and he that is in, and he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. You in the field, don't return back, man. You know, because if you return back, guess what? You're putting yourself in harm's down for the truth to take your ass. Yeah, back and get destroyed. Because when you when you start going back, you're, you're looking to take those possessions that you love the most with you. You know what I mean? And that's what she did. You know? That's all right. That's the spirit. It's uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, verse 6. When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man, talking about wisdom, who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities. Mm -hmm. uh, of those wickedness, even unto this day, the wind, that's like the wasteland that smoked is a testimony, and plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness, and the standing, and the standing pillar of salt. Is, the, is a monument of an unbelieving soul. Oh, see, she didn't believe the standing pillar of salt. God, that's cold. Because I was reading on that salt that, that was, uh, I was reading uh, about that salt that's over there. Right. They were saying that that particular salt is like hard, like rock. Like the salt that's, you can go into the earth and find that particular salt. It's real hard. So, right now, Esau got a spot over there that looks like a, Statue, they say, you think Lot, that might have been Lot's wife. You ever seen that? Yeah, yeah. So it, looks like, yeah, yeah. it looks like concrete. Yeah. Doctor, but they yeah. said that salt was hard as concrete over there. So it's possible, like, they might think it's a stone, but it could be salt. I you know, how they said that when they, when they did a sample of it, yeah, that, 12, that they couldn't verse, find nothing uh, on the six, earth to match it. Exactly. So, so you it's know that righteous, <laughs> that's a faith builder for us, also, man. Yeah. You know? They're going to show you when she looks back. You know, overall, I don't look back. She wasn't are, just disobeying and looking back. No, she was looking back and sorry. Because really, she was kind of enjoying that. She was enjoying that life. You know, yeah, like, uh, you know so basically, it was like a hurt. You know, she was kind of going into it. You know, listen after that shit. Because you know, you got brothers. Hey, brothers preaching this right? word, man. They into, they into the scriptures. I'm pretty sure a lot of these brothers got wives, you know, and them wives are not agreeing with the scriptures. So when that time comes, a lot of brothers' wives gonna be just like last wife, man. They gonna, you know, I gotta get my weed. But the way they come with the chill, you know what I mean? It takes out all that characteristics, all that integrity. You got the definition of stuff, and uh. Oh, uh, really? Yes. You go ahead. Luke 17 and 31. Yeah. And that day which shall be upon 
And that, and that day, he would so be up on the house top and his and stuff in the right. house. A bullet stuff in the house, man. You have right. a sword right now. Uh, that sword being uh, a, 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 a weapon, you know? Uh, it's gun. And which is your Greek, first place. Like but so we have a sword as well. Yes. And this sword of righteousness yes. is going to slay a witness. How so, uh, you know, to so where our people can no longer be seduced by your family. tackle and okay. armament of vessels used specifically of sails and ropes. Metaphorically, a man of quality, a chosen instrument, in a bad sense, and assisted in accomplishing an evil deed. It's a vessel. Good sales stuff. So I had went into it. I think I had went into it. I went deeper. I went deeper, and it was like it went into like don't look for idols. Also. So in that day, you can't, don't be worried about, uh, well damn, I gotta flee to the wilderness. Let me get my pistols, let me get my 45, or let me get my knife. You can't, you can't worry about that, man. You have to really give yourself up to the, uh, the elements of the, of the wilderness, man. You gotta just say, fuck.